Belem here. Let's finish this fucking game. I hate this game so much. We're almost done. I'm literally watching a retrospective on how bad this game is while playing it. Okay. Yeah, again, we got about 40 minutes left. So. No, no time. Let's do it. By using a series of hydraulic pumps, the door's lock must be depressurized by balancing a precise volume of liquid at a perfect temperature. It's adjusted by dispensing viscous door fluid from those handles. But with this many variables, the number of permutations is... 4,088,300,031. But I'm left so confused, like, is this... Oh, wait. 32. I forgot to round the decimal. This isn't even fair. This is impossible. Boring! Frozen yogurt. You kids. Stand back! Mama Fran's about to pour the most important yogurt of her life. Okay, I don't care about this part of it. The door is open. And I just made the perfect cup of yogurt. Okay, I, I don't care. Yeah. You are majestic, Francine. When we first met, early data concluded that you were in the throes of a midlife crisis, sublimating rage-induced insecurities into mediocre desserts. But now, I see you are comfortable, 
and confident, being much, much, much older than everyone else. Saved by the gunfire. <laughs> I love being in danger with you all. There they are. Someone's gotta close that door. Really? I don't know how viable this plan is, or where this crazy train is going. All I know is I don't trust that yard. You shouldn't either. I have it under control. Have you ever thought about breaking up with that thing? Out of the question! It heals wounds! It brought me back from the dead, but what do you say? Even if you don't agree, do it for me! Your brother! Please! The longer the shard lives in you, the more it changes you. You do see that, right? Of course I see that! I converse with the shard deeply. If you experienced what I experienced, did you? Call it an experiment. Live without the shard. Without the shard, we'd be nothing. That's not true. No, no capital, no future for either of us. We need the shard, and it needs us. If you really think that, you're more far gone than. I have a clear shot. Focus. Fucking shoot them, then, please. End this game. You are micromanaging. Okay, I, I don't care. This is like going really in depth on like who, these, these five people that show up for like two seconds. Like, yeah, it's fucking dumb, I get it, but like... You were always important to me. Did you get up? Negative. Sadly, you're used to me. That's it, I'm dragging him. Stop. Please. Listen. Because of my programming, I was required to kill. I was an assassination bot. But now, because of you, I can choose to stay. I am a protector bot. And you just got L0 point two. That's kind of sad. My soldiers can hit something every once in a while. I certainly pay enough for them. <laughs> and now you're here, on my bridge, doing what? First attempt at a corporate takeover? A hollow, vainglorious attempt to save the world? <laughs> uh, you possess one of the most powerful objects in the known galaxies. But it doesn't negate one crucial, inescapable fact. What's that? Since the very beginning, from the moment you bumbled onto that shard, had the delusion to call yourself a company, you never had a chance. But why? You have a valuable product, capital, smarts, and yet you all fail. So utterly and completely. Why? 
Because you never had the spine to start a real You can't stomach the violence of the business world. No iron over it. What hope could you have to compete in the business? <laughs> business lesson one. Your weakness provides me with a competitive advantage. Now, allow me to show you what we call aggressive restructuring. Give it a minute. Congratulations, Dr. Dar. You were right. Your invention has changed the world. They're all... dead. Not all. Some are just mortally wounded. But yes, they'll all die quite soon. Ooh, let's check on Breaking news. Now. They're calling it the harm ray. A mysterious blast that... This is double speed, right? That, that felt very long with those double speed. More so than usual. Others, mm. like this reporter, endure excruciating pain before the sweet, sweet relief. I suppose there's one way you can still save them. The healing shard in that ticker of yours. You can't cut that thing out of her even if you wanted to. True, I can't get it out of you for my weapon, so I'll just have you in my weapon. Mm -hmm. Oh. Let her go! And abandon the fine people of Promethea. Never! No, I don't think she wants that either. She's right. It's my fault. You don't let her do this. We can't let Susan win. There's got to be another way. Hunt in that big brain of yours. Don't give her what she wants. I don't know this techno computer stuff, but that sparking core doesn't look healthy. Will the weapons core incinerate you? Yes. But think of it as your generous donation toward the healing of Prometheus. The whose life is worth more. Yours or an entire planet. Fulfill your promise. Allow yourself to merge. Reunite my other half in your body. You can defy those who resist. I, I can absorb the other shot in the device. A power well -known. You and I have communed deeply. What will happen to me? Our combined consciousness will overwhelm your corporeal form. The personality known as Anu will crumble as well as anything anyone would call your humanity. Total death of the individual. But with that incredible power, you'll restore the planet, destroy the egomaniac, end the pointless corporate war, and eradicate violence for good. I believe that is what your soul has always wanted. Anu, don't talk. Just listen. I know that shark's got crazy magical healing and the ultimate power to stop Susan, but just... just this 
giant weapon is modeled after your device, right? If anyone can find a weak spot, it's you. You've got your engineering parts. I've got street smarts. We can destroy the device together. We can figure out something, right? Right? What about you and Prometheus? Honor, you don't have to take on the suffering of the universe! You can trade it for a few more moments on the spaceship! I don't want to lose you to that thing! You know what should be done. Forget the shoulds. Your life affects our life. I do want to help people. And it's I guess I should probably be paying attention, right? This is the end. <laughs> No exposed isotopic leaks, <laughs> just like my own device. I'm a perfectionist when it comes to radiation efficiency. Oh, no. Yeah, right. Uh, we can't just brute force an overload. We could. We could. You have a friend in range. Is that done yet? Oh, it is. What's that? <laughs> it's processing. That? <laughs> That's just my state of the art Echo Dex. Think it could be useful. My Echo Dex? How did you get that? I swiped it. Admit it, sometimes it's good to steal. In this very limited, specific case. She's gonna say it. With our lives and the whole galaxy in jeopardy. She's gonna say it. Yes, it's good you stole a thing. She said it. All you said it's good to steal. You can't take it back. You have a friend in range. Hey, it's oh, game All TDO weapons are friended on the TDO registry. What? No! TDO registry? That's not a thing. I, I don't see a friend code. Knowing Susan she made it as hard to find as possible. Stop meddling, you insolent! Yes, you're not so tough without your Echo Dexy Max. Echo Dex! The code's here somewhere! If only I could no, reach no my goal! Done. Goggles! Activate! Goggles! Activate! Maybe I don't feel like it. You don't feel like it? You've been saucy all night. Zoom in half. Zoom in half. Now you shout at me and attack. Don't worry, sis, I got this. But after having supposedly learned this lesson first, she then proceeds to, for the first time in the game, go on to actively dismiss what Octavio is trying to say. I don't know how I want to do this. Cool. That's the button. Manual power activated. Did you have to throw it at my face so hard? I hit it, didn't I? Zoom straight to quantum view. Affirmative. Mm. 
I think she's curveball killing herself. Really? Wait, wait, I don't even know why I kept the mic on for this, if I'm being honest. I usually I don't know why I just like thought of that now, but whatever. Then where'd you get this number? It's space pirates. Oh, it makes me hate 
Your call is intergalactic super long distance. You will incur additional roaming charges of $9,785,000 per minute. Do you accept the charges? She sure does. Hello, thanks for calling TD or Hologram customer service. Yes! Please choose one of the following options. <laughs> Please note that our items have changed. I didn't know what they were to begin with. Please wait while we load the choice items. I like guess it's funny, I'm literally at the point of the retrospective that I'm at in the game. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, I missed the button. God damn it. You might think sounds about right. Hello, thanks for calling TD or Hologram Customer Service. Yes! Please choose one of the following options. No. Please note that our items have changed. I didn't know what they were to begin with. Please wait while we load the choice items. <laughs> Product registration. Billing. Insurance claims. Faulty capacitors. Wrongful death. Animal diarrhea. Representative. It sounds like you want sedative. Why would I? Representative! Please hold. You will die as you will. Couldn't kill Eglotax. I didn't quite catch that. Would you like to talk to a representative? Yes! Yes! Yeah, yes! Your call is important to us. Please hold while I transfer you to a representative. Come on, give me something! How's it looking? Not great! This whole music is terrible! Thank you for calling TDO Hologram Customer Service. I see you on the TDO Flagship Battle Station. On a scale of 1 to 5, how would you rate your experience? I need help! Please hold your echo decks in plain view of the wall scanner while standing on the appropriate floor pad. And I'll initiate the remote reboot. Dope! It seems that your wall scanner and flow pad set up are in a state of disarray for ancient cosmic ray damage reasons. You don't say. I can transfer you to the maintenance department. No, 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 no. I'll find a way to patch it up. Uh, can you find a way to fix that floor pad thingy on your side? I'll see what I can do. Make sure to keep that IT guy on the line. We're troubleshooting that on our side. Please hold. Your call is very important to us. Dude, this game is so fucking stupid. 
If you could take a two minute survey and help me keep my job. That's your chance, F Dog! Let her rip! Never call me F Dog. Am I here? Or here? Am I here? Or maybe here? Oh, fuck off. Of course, I didn't look at the screen until then. We're at 30 minutes, so I don't I think you got stopped. Chocolate chunk! That's not fair! That's the young son! She regenerates whatever we hit the win! So this cycle melts people! And she's invulnerable! This ship is sporting a gigantic version of your device, right? Of course. The amplifier is functional. The circuits are still intact. Octavio, you're a genius! Embrace annihilation. We just need Susan held in the chamber. Friend, we're sending Susan on vacation! Leave it to me. All we need now is a power supply of Iridium. Oh, that's all? Leave that to me. I'll find something. I'll calibrate and fire once everything is... For Froyo. Okay, then. Get in there, kid! Hey! What? I need a medium. All I have to do is destroy my sweet premium. Yeah, so I'm adding this to the list. This is obviously the worst game I've played of the year. And it's, it's by a lot, dude. This is the worst fucking game. Like, I think this is the Bailey the worst game I've played in years. Yeah, there's some in my Echo Decks. Great! Smash it! You don't have, like, a program to migrate this contact list or anything, do you? Oh, save you! Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, dude. Say hi to Louis, friend. Goodbye, old friend. I'll meet you in the big conference call in the sky. The reason the plot and story of everything is so wildly bonkers and ridiculous is this was an actual point to get rid of famous. Fran is still a frozen shot holder. Is this enough? Barely enough for one shot. Better make it count. The reason every side character is being shows up literally one time and never plays an actual role in the story again is because Octavio couldn't pay them to be in more than one act. Except they will be, who is still, of course, an actual psycho and probably would have accepted other points of view. Everyone can still be who they are. We got power! Ooh, tilting five degrees so we don't send all of Prometheus on vacation. Yeah, that would be bad. All systems are ready. Make her go! Bye bye! Great. 
the siren, and break whatever Brit's backstory is. Each one a two-hour self-contained adventure of their own. Each has their own forms of different setting, food, characters, and it'd be an actually interesting thing to see. And then, once they finished all those episodes, they come on one on Claptrap. If you wanted Goofy, you could have had an adventure on Claptrap's journey to get the pearl of ineffable knowledge. There are so many characters that already exist in Borderlands, and combine vast more than eight who's a cue? Nobody, with like nothing in the story. Bring it in! You think it's an interesting angle. You don't need to try and find an interesting angle. Just expand on what you know fans already like. Stick to the basics. This game exists in the paper state of Borderlands. Going on, no, 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 I finally get to ask you. It's a simple question. We know your feeble minds are capable of answering it. It's... Yeah, this is a shit game, dude. All for Stag's sake. You are really draining the fun out of the whole destroying you thing. Well, let's make it fun. What? Hate! Violence! My brother who taught me to fake it till you make it, and my good friend who taught me to never give up in a fight. Everything we do, every victory, every mistake is a team effort. Better to die with family than to live alone. Oh, you got to so get me right here. Thank you for everything. It's one badass way to go down. I'm sorry I won't be able to pay you severance. Oh, cool. That was great. <laughs> Missed that by like a second. What? What is that? It's called a skateboard, dickhead! Ultimate cool workers turn best friends! I don't get how anyone wrote, like, how did anyone make this game? Like, how is this a game that fucking exists? How did this game get a 7 out of 10 from IGN? Dude, we beat the boss! Fuck yes we did! We are one, as are you. Thank you. One less corporate ass hat, one happy super alien or whatever. That's a job well done in my book. Yeah. And we saved the world, maybe the entire galaxy in the process. Not bad. And no one will ever know it was us. That's pretty badass. Totally badass. Freezes are frozen. Uh, freezes are frozen. Cool. The frozenest freezes around. Twenty percent of all sales go to water sanitation. Our first commercial. If you rebuild it and rebrand it, they will come. Nothing to do now but wait. Ah. 
Hey, you ladies open or what? Are we open? It sort of depends on the person. For you, yes. Well, the unlit open sign in the window communicates otherwise. Come on in! They're open! <sighs> That was a rush. I told ya. Slinging frozen treats ain't for the weak, doll. Good thing I've been working out. Ow! <laughs> you ready to head out? Yep. Just one second. This is PNN. Promethea, one year later. Today is a somber day for Meridian City as we reflect on the destruction done by the TDOR Corporation. Though Susan Coldwell's death was confirmed, details surrounding the crash landing of her ship remain a mystery. Famous entrepreneur turned conspiracy theorist, Vivington Bradwick claims Promethea was saved by, <sighs> get a load of this, a healing spirit. He God, even claims the explosion awesome shot man. remnants of the spirit into the sky, leaving a green cosmic trail. <laughs> healing spirit? Green cosmic trail? Okay, Bivington. I think someone's done one too many hits from the Belcher. Most citizens, however, have opted to get on with the most important business there is. The business of living. Coming up, can you eat a sandwich made of garbage? The answer won't surprise you. Uh, Octavio die? I, I like completely missed that. <laughs> Whatever. Fucking cares. It's fucking game. Uh, he did he deserve better? Um, I miss you as much today as I did a year ago. Yeah, I don't care. You being gone doesn't get any easier. I miss you so much, Octavio. We all do, hon. You were the best of us. Octave Doe. What now? A tribute flavor to Octavio. Octave Doe. Ah, all the proceeds can go to the young, failing entrepreneurs of Prometheus Society. This game I sucks. Dude. Love that. What's the dough in the dessert, though? Tacos, oh, hint of chocolate, a little bit of cinnamon, you know, work the whole mole vibe. Yeah. Destroying a doomsday weapon, freeing a cosmic demigod, and toppling a major corporation? 
Not bad for three nobodies. And That's the... pretty bad because this game's shit. After that, Promethea returned to business as usual. Corporate squabbles, casual murders, holidays with the family. So, any idea where the shard is heading? Not a clue. No one's made any sense of its trail. Hmm. It's funny. This Anu and Octavio, two siblings who haven't spoken in years, but ultimately risked their lives for each other. Hey, it's Abby. Two halves of a whole. That resonates with you? Oh, yeah. That's the key to this whole thing, isn't it? Uh, wait, what are you saying? I'm saying no one's looked at the bigger picture. It's headed into the Gladius Nebula. Great find, Fiona. And she's gone. And she took my wallet? <laughs> Con artists. All right, what a shit game this was, dude. Uh, no, I'm fucking fast already. Actually, no, I can just. Yeah, okay. Uh, that's actually not that. Wait, 100 percent of players did what? Rejected life as a jabber, embraced your humanity. Was they even fucking mean? Um, yeah, this game shit, dude. I don't know if I care enough. I, I thought about, like, platinuming this game, but I don't think I care enough, dude. Um, Flock. so I'm missing seven of those. What do I need to platinum the game? I guess that's the bigger question. Can I, oh, can you buy them in this menu? Oh, I guess you can. I don't know if I have enough money or not. Oh, I don't. Okay, cool. Oh, shit. I need a lot of money. Yeah, I, I don't think I care enough. Uh, how do I check trophies again? Is it game base? Oh, no, it's literally right there. I'm a fucking idiot. Um, yeah, so it's like, what do I need? I need 10 more trophies. Are these the ones I don't have? So, um, finish the game with a good Skype for rating, collect every Voltlander figure, obtain every cosmetic, win every Voltlander battle, win a Voltlander battle with using the Claptrap figure, view every ending, watch the credits after finishing it. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> um, Perform every background check. Summon the sexy intern. I, I don't think I care, dude. Yeah, I'm not gonna bother, am I? I don't fucking care enough to fucking platinum this game. Fuck that. We're done. Uh, fuck this game. Um, what's next? I, I think, um... Uh, Ghostwire? Is that what I was planning on? Yeah, probably Ghostwire. Uh, how long is Ghostwire now I think about it? I should probably look that up. Um, I'm hoping it's like less than 10 hours. 11, okay. Good enough. Yeah, we'll play Ghostwire next. Um, then after that, we'll probably be Digimon Survive, I think. I mean, okay, well, let's look at the list of games. So we got... So again, I want to get all the shorter ones out of the way. So I think Ghostwire... Uh, Digimon Survive will be a bit longer, but whatever, we'll play that. Lego Star Wars. Then... Mm, I don't know. Should I do AI at that point? AI is pretty long, though. I think that's kind of the issue. So 
Soul Hackers 2 is a game too that I need to play. Oh. I'm realistically, there's not that, that much from this year. I'm like dying to play. But anyway. We're done. Um, yeah, we'll be back uh, probably on Monday, Monday night. Uh, because again, tomorrow I stream. And then, uh, yeah, we'll be back Monday night probably. Circus Wire. But we're done with this shit. So thank you for watching.